Hey everyone! As you've already seen in the title, I have a huge Copic haul for you today. And for me, obviously, but well. This is my huge box, it has just arrived, and the postman was completely amazed because I already opened the door before he had rung the bell and <laughs> he was like, whoa, that works well here. And I was like, yeah, I've been waiting for this parcel. <laughs> and yeah, so let's open it up and see what's in there. Well, I already know what's in there. <laughs> what a surprise, right? So put that away. <laughs> Woo! So this is a huge pile of stuff and one reason why I have this huge haul here right now is because I haven't really purchased any loads of Copics for a pretty long time. I've ordered some Copics off of eBay and got others as a present and something, so I haven't really purchased any original piles of Copics, like new piles of Copics in a long time. And there is also another reason why this haul is huge. Let's remove this paper. So, okay, this is already the reason why this haul is a bit bigger than it was supposed to be. And, woohoo, it's this, where are we? There, and it's upside down, what? Okay, I'm filming upside down, nice to know. Um, it's the 25th anniversary kit, and I don't want to get this kit because it's so freaking expensive. It ranged at, I don't remember exactly, at first it was somewhere around 200 euros, I think. And I was like, no, <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> Not for 200 euros. And then it was at 190 euros, 180, 190 euros, and I was still like, no, you don't need that. And now it was on sale, and I couldn't resist. <laughs> it was on sale for 110 euros, which is still an awful lot of money, yes, that's true. But still, I counted the numbers in here, which I don't own yet, and this was still a significant amount. So the offer did not only include this 25th anniversary kit, it also included a free, free, um, what is that? Okay. Okay, it says 3 euros 90 on here, but I didn't pay anything for it at all because it was free. It, was, it came together with this anniversary edition, so... I got this and the marker pad. This is the marker paper I usually use since I also get questions concerning my paper. It's the My Pad by. It's not even on there. On my other pad, it says Shalas Hama down here, which is the company. But, well. Okay, so I got this for free. And. I didn't get this for free. Nope, I didn't. Uh, yeah. So this is the big marker pad and this is Dinner 3. I want to make drawings and colorings etc. on Dinner 3 format, but not only because sometimes I want to go just a bit bigger than Dinner 4 and for example, for my one piece uh, drawing and coloring, which I uploaded here on YouTube, I took a Dinner 4 and another Dinner 4 and I kind of glued them together and that was like, yeah, <laughs> it kind of worked, but 
it doesn't work in other terms and I don't want to do this again so if you have a big marker pad you can just cut the size you need out of it and you're good to go so yeah this was really long due and the last thing is this bundle here and I think we should unpack this together on my desk so this is just a huge bundle and the box is empty. So I just unpacked the 25th anniversary set and I actually thought it was a bit more sturdy and yeah it's not. It's just like this opening comes off really easily and yep that's that. <laughs> Kind of falls apart completely. Okay. Okay. So I thought that this would also be very interesting for traveling, like this box, but now I don't really think so. I wouldn't want to put this into my suitcase <laughs> just like this. I think. No. Nope. The lid is on there way too loose, so I would. Probably, I don't know, I would have to glue this shut or something. Yeah, I don't know. So... That's that. Now let's take care of this little bundle here. Woohoo! So these are the colors I ordered. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can see. If you want to see which colors these are, just pause the video. And yep. So I don't know why is that one in there. So apart from the usual colors, I ordered uh, this Multiliner SP brush pen. I saw a video with this brush pen, or rather someone used this brush pen, and the line work was just so interesting and I wanted to try it out too. And I also purchased two refills, two Copic Various inks for my colorless blender and for my color C5 because those two are completely dried out. They're completely empty. Yep. I have made myself a color grid for my Copic markers. I know you can also print them and there are also, yeah, there's even a real original Copic color table sample thingy thing you can print. But I didn't like them and I wanted to have a larger one. That was the main thing. I wanted to have a larger table. So I made one myself. And for this table, it would have also been smart to have the Dinner 3 paper, but I didn't. So I glued Dinner 4 papers together again for that. Yes. So this is the color chart which I created for myself and yeah it's huge, it doesn't even fit on camera screen even though I'm completely zoomed out.
yeah, maybe a little word to this haul um, and to the colors. I try to get like color sequences full at the moment because I already have some Copics and I try to get sequences full like for example everything which starts with one and everything which starts with a two etc so that's what I did with the individual markers I bought and I also bought a lot of the zeros actually it was planned that I now have all the zeros complete from quadruple zero to double zero <laughs> But, because I made this mistake, our quadruple zero is still missing. It's not a major loss, <laughs> but it annoys me. <laughs> As you've seen in the speed coloring, I always put one layer to both boxes and then a second layer just to the right box. It helps me a lot this way because uh, Copics can be put down in layers. And yeah, it just helps me a lot to see what I can achieve with two layers because sometimes you're between two layers. Like if I just had N3 and N4 beneath each other and I would be exactly between these two colors and I wouldn't really know what to do, I can take a look at the two layered N3 and the two layered N3 is usually more or less a little lighter than the next color. So I can decide between two layered N3 and one layered N4. If that's not too complicated, <laughs> if you got what I mean, fine. If not, don't think about it any further. It's not important. It's just for me. It helps me a lot, but you don't have to think like that. Yeah. And if you can see down here, the double layered N7 well, I don't know how your color color viewing skills are. For my inner eye, that's already black. For me, this is practically black. And the others, like W7 double layered and C7 double layered, they're also pretty close to black. But I don't want to go for black because I have a black marker. I mean, I, what do I need a gray shade for that's practically black if I have a black marker. So um, yeah, that's the reasoning behind it. I I can't say that I'll never ever have these shades here. I don't know, but right, not right now. I don't need them. I don't technically need them. That's that. That's my Copic haul. I have to try to cut this down together to some reasonable amount of time. And yeah, stay tuned for more hauls, for more material videos. Um, I will not only make videos about Copics, that's for sure, but I have really come to love Copics, so if you hate Copics completely, I think you're a bit wrong here, <laughs> but if you enjoy watching Copic videos, why not? So, okay, see you in the next video, bye!